All right, guys, today I want to look at something to try to activate kind of that inside of the quad and make sure we're keeping a good foot position when we're either walking and coming through stance, when we're going to start a lunging type position, uh, or even a squatting type motion. A lot of times what happens at the foot is we'll either go too far to the outside or too far to the inside, which is then going to put tension at the knee or the hip upstream. So what we want to talk about is first grounding the foot with what we call a tripod foot. So I'm going to keep three points of contact with the floor, my heel, the knuckle behind my big toe, and the knuckle on the pinky toe side, on the metatarsals, and as well as the calcaneus. Those three points are going to stay in contact with the floor the entire time. So I'm going to press my big toe, uh, the knuckle behind my big toe into the ground. I'm going to put my heel on the ground. Pinky's going to stay grounded. I'm going to try to splay my toes as far as I can splay them. That's going to be my stable tripod foot position for the exercise. From there, I'm going to try to create some tension by pulling into my hip socket. I want to feel my glute. I want to feel my adductors. And everything's going to rotate as I try to stack the knee above the foot and keep my Achilles nice and vertical. Right? So we're going to squeeze into that hip, stabilize the hip socket, tension in the glutes, tension on the inside of the thigh. And I'm just going to do a mini lunge as I head the middle of my knee towards my second toe maybe the space between my second toe and my big toe, okay? As you do that, we've got a little tension in that hip socket, we're driving that knee forward, you should feel pretty good activation or some tension on this inside quad muscle or your VMO, okay? Again, we're looking to stabilize the hip, stabilize the foot, activate this inner quad muscle as a post. By getting this engaged, it's gonna keep that knee from going too far to the inside, but it's also gonna keep us from just blowing the knee to the outside. So many times we go knees out and we just roll everything to the outside and we lose all that rotational power and torque that we can create in the foot, uh, in the knee. So grounded down, tripod foot, hips engaged, adductors and glutes are tight, driving the knee to the second toe, feel that VMO engage. Vertical Achilles through the entire motion. And we're just gonna do mini split squats here as we work that position. Give that one a go. It's a little more work than you might think it is. 